This is the story of a farm in a distant, as we say, less developed country. Yeno Preto is the farmer's name, though his son-in-law is today largely in charge. Yeno Preto Farm has been essentially a piggery. It was, until 2001, in thrall, virtually an outsourcer, for a major meat packer active throughout Brazil, which supplied the farm with its stock, its feed, and its veterinary pharmaceuticals, and took away weaned piglets. Sadia is one of two major meat processing companies in this part of the country. In 1999, Irma Preto Farm was home to 160 sows with piglets reared from birth to weaning. At that point, the farm was called upon to increase production to 500 sows. But at the same time, the giant reservoir of slurry was giving the state agricultural authority, as well as the farmer, concern because of signs of leakage into the river. Mr. Jose Souza is the region's agriculture minister, who keeps a close eye on all the farms in the area. Nós produzimos aqui em torno de 440 mil suínos estáticos, ou seja, são criados na, nas propriedades todos os dias. This area has a current pig population of around 440,000 adult pigs on nearly 900 farms. It's reckoned that pigs produce about six times the waste of humans, so the total amount of waste is equivalent in the Toledo area to that of a human population of two and a half million people. You can understand the land has been completely saturated. There came a particular moment, it was a holiday weekend, when leakage into the river led to a closing down of the water supply for three days. It was a Sadia technician who first alerted the farmers to the work of Professor George Chan of Mauritius. Chan was working with the Paraná State Agricultural Advice and Support Agency, TECPA. As an environmental engineer, his career has spanned 40 years working in nearly 80 countries on what he terms integrated farming and waste management systems. Mr. Preto had been joined a few years earlier from a career in banking by a son-in-law, Darcy Jose. Começou em, no ano de 1999, onde nós recebemos uma proposta da Sadia de aumento de plantel. Real change began in 1999 after Sadia asked us to treble production. But we would not have received authorization for this increase. The support agency TECPA found itself having to select one farm for development from among five that had applied for Chan's help. Mr. Chan visited all five farms and recommended Irno Preto Farm as the pilot that he wanted to work on intensively to alter the system we employed at that time. I'll never forget one moment on his visit to us. He asked a lot of questions and then he said that our pigs were happy, implying that Irno Preto Farm is special. Today, six years on, Irno Preto Farm produces pigs and the maize that is their main food, plus fish and soya. Now independent of the meat packer, largely due to the success of the integrated system, pig production has increased and the farm has a much greater degree of control over its own destiny. Two giant digesters, which take pig manure from the pig houses, have replaced the slurry pits, at the same time eliminating the smell of that material that used to pervade the farm. And the pits have become additional homes for a greatly increased activity of fish cultivation, 
now a much more significant component of the sales of Inno Preto Farm. The solid arising from the digesters is used as fertilizer for the maize fields and also for a significant production of soya, an additional product for the farm. Other livestock, sheep, goats, cattle, feed on pasture fertilized by the digested pig manure. The fish feed on algae fertilized by the liquid manure from the pigs. O sistema funciona da seguinte maneira. Você tem uh, os chiqueiróis, né, onde você tem os suínos, onde você tem o recolhimento é, de todos os dejetos dos suínos. The system works like this. The pig muck is conveyed, largely by gravity, to the two huge biodigesters, entering at the bottom where there is a concentration of bacteria. In due course, the material exits at the top of the tanks, where the gas is taken off for use as fuel to generate electricity for the whole farm, for heating the pigsties in winter, and for the operation of farm equipment, particularly for milling maize, the pig staple diet. The rest, what we call biofertilizer, goes into sedimentation tanks where the separation takes place between liquid and solid. The solid sinks to the bottom and is eventually collected for use as fertilizer on the fields. The liquid goes into the algae tanks, where the plant's growth is extraordinarily prolific. Surplus water is eventually pure and returned to the river. As well as the environmental benefits that George Chan's integrated system brings to the farm, the business side of farming benefits too. The economic gain from the process is such that the amount of money we invested has been repaid in two years. We've also eliminated methane emissions and received carbon credits, valued at 7 to 10 euros each, for the quantity of methane we no longer release into the atmosphere. And how does Mr. Preto himself value the application to his farm of the integrated farming and waste management system? Today, compared with earlier on, the improvement is very considerable. I would say between 80% and 100% better. So what's improved? Well, the situation regarding pig muck is vastly improved. There's no longer the worry. Before, open holes in the ground. Now, no more. Have we helped the environment? I think so, considerably. Using the excrements, not polluting the river, recycling the methane. Not everything is as it should be yet, but yes, it's a good improvement on what was.